the mine, the goal is to extract one million tons of ore a week. Just scoop iron out of the ground. You gotta blow it to smithereens. Demolition expert Rick Scherf is setting charges for this week's explosion. I'm a blaster. It's, uh, it's hard work, hot and dusty, but it's fun. Were you the type of kid that was setting up fireworks? Firecrackers, yeah, still am. <laughs> I love fires. Rick starts by attaching a blast cap to an explosive as powerful as three sticks of dynamite. But a few sticks of dynamite would hardly put a dent in iron ore. So they pump in ammonium nitrate and fuel oil, two tons in each 45-foot hole. When they've filled 190 holes, it's enough to flatten 100 city blocks. The people in Hibbing have, have been known to have to adjust their pitchers, and we've broken windows out, and foundations have been cracked. Rick is being incredibly careful as he wires the holes together. Everyone is cleared from the site, except Rick, who gets only a metal shed to protect him. This is uh, the blasting cone, and it's a shelter in case rocks come, up, come around us. Several times we've had rocks come over 50, 100 feet behind us, and we've had to go in here. A safety plane looks for stragglers. 600 safety control to all units. We'll now have the countdown for the main blast. Bye. One. One million tons of solid iron ore just became rubble. Now the excavator crews can get to work to deal with this debris. On their best days, the workers move thousands of tons of ore every hour. To do this, they have six shovels, they have 21 dump trucks, they have three shifts a day, they have Paul Oberstar, the pit dispatcher. Go ahead, Jimmy. Come in. Hello. You got room to pull out and swing out to the 50? Paul's GPS system tells where every vehicle is at all times. He can also monitor how many tons are being hauled out of the pit. This week, he hasn't been happy. We had some pretty serious problems with shovels again. Uh, at one point, we had uh, just a couple of tack shovels running in the pit. We like to try to hit 700 loads per day. Yesterday, they hit 521. It was a rough day. He needs the help of shovel operator Gail Rouse and truck driver Shirley Godwin. It's not. If Shirley doesn't line up perfectly, Gail will make her do it again. But Shirley nails it. Four buckets will fill Shirley's 240-ton dumper. Gail takes just three minutes to do the loading. That's important. Every extra second affects the bottom line. Shirley's off to the races. She's hauling 240 tons of ore and clocking 30 miles per hour. She could flatten anything in her path, like this pickup truck. You have to keep your eyes on the road. Uh... You just got to go from point A to point B and be safe. Point B is the processing plant where iron ore is made into pellets. First, a crusher chews the pieces into small bits. Then a massive mill grinds the bits into a powder as fine as flour. Magnetic drums separate the iron from the waste rock. Then the iron powder is rolled into small pellets and cooked in a 2300 degree furnace. An 
An average day produces 25,000 tons of pellets. With prices at a record high, the mine needs to keep reaching its production goal and keep the mine ripping and snorting.